<laughs> Lara, refusing to use the door again, I see. But it's faster this way, Dad. Come here, you little monkey. <laughs> Are you going on another adventure? Yes. My greatest one yet. Well, I've decided that I should be your assistant. Oh, have you? Well, there's no one I'd rather have by my side. But this business, it's too dangerous. Lara, listen to me. Someday, you're going to make such a mark on this world. You're going to make me so proud. Give me a moment, darling. I need to take this. Shit. Got to bind this wound. Herbs. Cloth. We need herbs and cloth. Those leaves should stem the bleeding. Need some kind of bandage. I can't believe we're getting this hurt again already. What? The gasoline or something? What is that? It's randomly lying around. Oh, it's a car. Oh. An abandoned Cold War installation. What the hell is Trinity doing down there? Good enough. More Mongol ruins. Looks like the path goes all the way through. Got to get past that bear. Find a way to defeat the bear. Yeah, there's no way we're going down here, so I guess that's backtracking for us. Back up into danger we go. <laughs> Seems a little bit silly to be chasing or to be going back in the direction that we got hurt. Those mushrooms. They're death caps. I oh. should be able to make a poison. Three, we need three. So we go there, but it seems like there's a way to go here too. Yeah. Whoops. Do we not? There we go. Salvage. Upgrade weapons. Oh, are we really going back here? Here goes nothing. All right. So now we need to find those death caps, which I'm hoping are nearby. Seems like there might be some here. We've been here already, haven't we? Oh! There we go. Find cloth. Can never have too many healing items. Might be able to make something with all this. Should head back to camp and try. It's convenient. Thank you for your inner monologue, Lara. Poison arrows. Ammunition. Silent arrows. Poison arrows. Yep. Got it. Hmm. 
need to rest. So cold, so tired. No, you listen to me. This discovery is too important. I don't give a damn about my reputation. Don't you dare threaten me. After everything I've done? Hello? Hello? Dad, what's happening? They're fools! You're scaring me. I'm close, Lara. Close to something important. Someday, you'll understand. I don't want to understand. I just want you to stop. Be my dad again. Run her down. Uh oh. Wow. Not taking any chances at all, Jesus. Roger that. We'll make a full sweep. Bushes. Concealment. Avoid being spotted. Truly, man's greatest weakness. Never looking up. Alright. Command. We're fanning out to pick up the trail. Roger that, but it looks like they've retreated. Primary objective is to find the missing survey team. Well, I hope no one notices that the conversation just stopped. Our arrows... How many do we have right now? Full. Good. Okay. Sneak or fight past the Trinity soldiers to reach the cave. Okay. Well, I am absolute garbage at stealth, but I'm gonna try my best, and if it goes south, then we'll deal with it then, okay? Hmm. Can we crouch, though? Or is it like a situational- Jesus. Uh, shit. Jesus. <laughs> This was a faint. Oh, they're still out there. Brinker's KIA. Someone's gonna have to cut him down. Holy shit. The guy. Poison cloud. We could just sneak past them, but I want to disable them to make sure that they won't come back to haunt us. Oh shit, shit, shit. Not the best hiding spot. Who's that? <gasps> oh, god damn it. God damn it.
they coming? Oh! 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 Okay! Okay! Jesus! Well, so much for the stealth. That was only two guys, too. All teams, keep your eyes open. The natives booby trapped the woods. God, I'm so garbage at this. How do I activate the mushroom cloud thing again? God damn it. So, there are booby traps around here. I should be on the lookout as well. Watch that guy just randomly turn around. Mm, there's a light there. I don't like that. There's two guys. See if you can raise the facility. Last signal we got said they were under attack, then nothing. That was just a few minutes after the natives hit us outside the ruins. Then they retreated away from the facility. This was a coordinated feint. They're trying to spread us out. And tell crew fuck this up. These aren't peasants. Yeah, these are guerrilla tactics. They knew to go straight for the comms array as soon as we showed up. Shit. We're gonna need counterinsurgency protocols. It'll blow the timetable. Constantine's not gonna like this, but it's better than getting picked off in the dark. Oh, believe me, you're gonna be getting picked off in the dark. As soon as I can get my stealth in place. Oh, there's a guy there too. If we hit that guy in the head, can we get a stealth kill? One more guy. At least one more guy around here. Oh, well, it's going fairly swimmingly. Bad start, but we made it for it. Salvage. There should be one more guy, though. So don't let our guard go down. And now that we know, we have a little bit of a... Shit, okay. Not a good idea to be shooting them out so far. Just because if their corpse is over there, people can come and find them. And as soon as somebody sees a corpse, we're done. Heads up, we haven't restored the uplink. Expect interference on all transmissions. So far, so good. Okay. Oh. It's a gasoline. We're gearing up. I was on the first flight to Siberia to secure the old Soviet installation now. More arriving every minute. Konstantin gave a speech to the new boots and I stayed in the back to watch. Love hearing him speak. Never gets old. I was never much for believing, but it was just words before this is something more. It's truth. I was broken once. But Trinity is making us whole again. Giving giving us a purpose. A new world awaits. Even those who don't believe will have a part to play. They're basically brainwashing people. Gearing up, heart of darkness. All right. I... No, wait, what is this? What are these? That's gonna explode, right? Okay, well, we don't have to. <laughs> we don't have to use that then. Okay, we can throw that. Oh, 
Always on the lookout for more resources. Can never have too many. But I believe it's time to go back to the, the cable place. Oh, I think I have to drop it. There must be traps around here. Again? Damn. It's still there. Okay, Lara. You're gonna have to teach me how to do the poison cloud thing again, because I totally missed the tutorial. So let's hope... Oh, wait. How do I do this? One... Okay, um... Well, I'll try shooting. Hello? I guess we have to go in the cave. Uh, actually, we're not gonna pick that up right now because we have 24 arrows, so it's gonna be a waste. <laughs> Walking so slowly, so scared. So we have to lure it out. Better oh. draw it out. Press M while aiming to shoot. Okay, well, let's let's hope I got this. Hey. Oh, oh, oh. Okay, okay, okay. Oh, I have no idea what I'm doing. I have no idea what I'm doing. Oh god. No. No. Okay, that concept of the mushroom, the poison cloud thing, I don't get it. I don't get it. Press middle mouse. Middle mouse! Hold some time. What? Oh my god. For some reason, I was under the impression that M mouse meant right click. But yes, middle mouse. I never use that button. Well, now we know. I don't think we have to lure it out, though. We could just totally. Too cramped to fight. I don't like the middle mouse. Better to draw it out. It's fine. Oh, oh, time. Time. Is that even working? <laughs> oh. There we go. Bear hide. Advanced equipment. Special outfits. Poor bear. Absolutely disgusting. But you gotta do what you gotta do to survive. Alright. We should pick that up now. Oh, now I go this way. Okay. Right, because the bear wasn't here earlier, so we haven't come here before yet. Dead people. I wonder why. <laughs> oh, that's beautiful. Look at that. Snow falling in through a little hole. Okay, well, that's not beautiful. Semi-auto pistol. 
part. Two hides. The fugitive prophet has crossed out of the Empire and now turns north. I'm now in unfamiliar territory. The Order of Trinity was clear. I am to pursue the false prophet and his adherents to the ends of the earth and wash away his heresy. But I believed I could overtake him months ago. Still, he eludes me. He crosses Khazar land and across the Caucasus mountains. Here, I'm at a disadvantage. I speak a dozen tongues of the Empire, but in the hinterlands, I'm often left to communicate with little more than a sword. The Prophet, it seems, speaks every language, as if he were born to them. Hmm, so even if immortality isn't real, it does seem like that this Prophet has some sort of special power. Earlier, one of the other documents mentioned that he just seemed to have this power to persuade people to do things for him. So, either a really good social engineer, or someone with special powers. Wait, did I miss something? No, just a reflection. Okay. Wow, Glacial Cavern. Follow the Mongolian path and search for signs of the lost city. Oh! What's over here? He's passed through the lands of the Rus. I cannot shake the feeling that he's taunting me, waiting until I'm a day's ride away before moving on. I will not be home before the winter, as I hoped. I've stopped at a small village by a glassy lake they called Svetloyar. The Prophet spoke here, and now the villagers refuse me lodging. I slept on the banks of the lake, where a young man, bearing a crude version Prophet's icon, tried to kill me as I dozed. I made an example of him, and now the people fix me with the evil eye, spit at me as I pass. I must move on soon. His sickness spreads. Again, with that special people power. People with people skills are at a massive advantage compared to everyone else in this world, I think. Mm, is that really wise to be jumping down there? Seems kind of dangerous. Okay, so this way we're gonna leave. But, I feel like, ah, oh, okay, okay, you know what? Maybe we should try jumping down there, just to see. There may be something good. Or I could be completely wrong, but we'll find out. <laughs> yes, I'm completely wrong, okay. Well, at least now we know. Our curiosity has been sated, now we can move on. gonna be cold as if it wasn't cold enough earlier already right my god an arrowhead carved from bone this looks like mongol craftsmanship this was a whistling arrow mongol archers would fire these over their enemies to frighten and confuse them oh i think if we rotate them enough at the right angle she gives extra information. So it's just like archaeology, right? You look at something for long enough, you'll find something new about it. <laughs> Holy shit. Really? This is so bad! So cold! We're not gonna be able to dry ourselves off, oh my god. Paisa, a sort of passport. Whoever held this spoke with the authority of the Mongol Empire. 
You read that, Lara? It reads, By the power of eternal heaven and order of the Empire, whoever does not show respect will be guilty of an offense. Hmm. More Mongolian stuff. But that must be pretty dated then, right? Because currently, Mongolia isn't within the Siberian bounds anymore, right? I don't know anything about geography. Oh shit. Oh, you look so cold! Okay. Two skill points. Incendiary bombs. Lightfoot. Land safely without damage. So far, we hadn't had a fall that's so big that we had to take damage yet. Okay, I'm gonna invest in... Hmm. Well, ideally, the plan is I would like to stealth it if I can, but... We still need to have some plans for when the stealthing fails, just like that thing earlier. So I'm gonna invest in dodge counter, I think. And then... Efficient killer. Enemies killed while in stealth will be automatically looted for resources. So that's more like a quality of life thing, right? Not really something super necessary. And I will get breath control. Just because we seem to be using the bow quite a bit. So, might as well. Okay. We can make a hunter's quiver. Or, a rifle ammo pouch. We don't even have a gun right now, though. So, I'll go with the quiver. Ammunition. Poison arrows. Sure, why not? We have plenty of resources right now. Alright. And, um... Weapon upgrade. We can upgrade the axe. We can upgrade the bow. Increase hold time. Decreases finger tension for additional hold time. Applies for all bows, or for the climbing axe. What is this? Hide wrapped handle improves one-handed grip, allowing for dual wielding me melee attacks. Sharpened edge allows the blade to slide farther into gaps. Um, I have no clue. Let's go with the wrapped handle, I guess. Actually, we have enough for both, so... Why not? And we'll get the whole time thing here too. Cool. I'm not sure how rare the resources are going to be. But right now, I don't feel like it's super rare. So we don't have to save them. And we do not need to fast travel back. Hopefully the fire warmed us up a little bit. I doubt it though. It's not like we were in the fire, we just sat next to it for like two seconds. Oh, one thing that I really wonder about, I don't know if anyone knows, but when you're in a really cold place, like here, the entire place is basically made of ice. So why is there water here? Wouldn't that water be way sub-zero already, so wouldn't it be ice? That would be really cool to know if you if you know the answer to that. <sighs> Optional challenge tomb nearby. I think I missed the first one, which is unfortunate, but oh well. Oh, I don't even know how to read this shit. Okay. Wait. Where the heck are we? Okay, I think I got it. A Byzantine war galley. How the hell did it get down here? It 
It's like Atlantis, but in ice. Okay, so that optional tomb is over there. Yeah, let's go take a look. We might not be able to solve it for a really long time, but you gotta try. Hmm. It's Mongolian. They passed through here. I must be close to the lost city. So the lost city is that way. The optional tomb is here. <gasps> oh shit! <clears throat> Ice ship! Must be something up there. Damn better well be. I think I can make that. <laughs> Probably. Nice afterthought. <laughs> I have no idea what that is, but let's touch it. Okay, we got something swinging. The Maria Dula is trapped. The ice gave way. Her spine snapped in two. No matter. While well, I hope to wield her cannons against the false prophet, we will continue on foot. I have six of the Order of Trinity's best, and we have been stockpiling food and supplies while the sailors starved. They do not know it yet, but they will give their life for the cause. My men and I will find our way out of these icy caves and continue on foot. Before the ship was swallowed by the ice to the south, we heard music. That will be our first stop. But first I must rest. The cold has sunk into my bones. And I am drowsy. Just a little sleep. They've been chasing this guy literally to the ends of the earth. Oh my god, they just froze here! Oh my god, their ship broke down. Maria Adula. Right here, where's the ship? Oh, we're on the ship right now. Right. Oh my god. I don't think they ever even found the guy. Okay, where am I going here? Hmm. Can we do something about this gigantic piece of ice, or what? Do we need to like melt it down? That's why this is a challenge tomb. <laughs> oh, we can climb this. No. Mm, I don't think we can go up anymore. Hmm. Not sure how to progress from here. Oh, okay. Maybe we can use that block of ice to smash against the wall. You want to you want to jump over there? Is that what you want to do? <laughs> My god. Yes. That did it. This girl is insane. <laughs> no. Nope. Thought there was something over there. No, just drop. Oh my god. Saw my life flash before my eyes. Oh. It's really easy to press the wrong buttons or just not face the right way. So I gotta be extra careful. Alright. 
Are we smashing something else? Oh! Huh, it comes back up. What does that actually do? Can we... Is that like a cart for us? Hmm. Yeah, I think so. Like, if we pull it down and then run over there, maybe we can jump into that little cart. We'll have to do it pretty quickly, though. And you know what happens when things are done quickly. They're not done correctly. <laughs> Okay, at least we didn't die, but I do believe that was the right way to do it. <gasps> oh! Got it. Now to find out what's up there. <sighs> many doubloons, many gold coins, many treasures that can be sold for a lot of money. Please. Hopefully. Although, to be honest, I really- Jeez! I don't think Lara's family needs the money. They're quite wealthy. Look at all this. Why were they carrying so much wealth with them? Holy crap. New document and mural locations. Oh, there's a few on the way back. Cool, cool. Doesn't look like we missed anything so far, so that's good. Archery techniques of the foes of the Byzantine Empire. Oh! Ancient abilities quickly shoot up to two successive arrows without the delay of redraw. I didn't finish reading that yet! <laughs> but something about shooting two arrows in a row. Cool! Wow. Why were they carrying so much stuff with them? This is the crew that's trying to look for the prophet, right? It's done. We'll die here, thanks to Coraldus and the madness of the Order of Trinity. My ship will never see water again. We entered the glacial sea too far into the winter. Would have been turned back, but Coraldus would not abandon this lost prophet. He and his dead-eyed warriors seized control. He forced the ship through shallow tributaries until we could go no further. Then he made my crew construct sled runners, and the bastard forced us to tow the ship over land. It was death, and excommunication to deny him. But it was death either way. I will make sure he dies here, with us. I've always kept a little poison at the ready, in case the ship was taken. Now, it has another use. So, now we know for sure they never found the guy. It is a little bit weird that they have so many rich things here, though. On a ship looking for somebody? 